The friendly face that you see here is Edgar Escalante. Edgar is the current owner, operator, and head trainer of the Jiu-Jitsu Academy of Stillwater. Edgar recently celebrated his fifth anniversary of operating the academy, but before that he was training others in a very different place, the living room of his apartment. That was, uh, I think in everybody's jiu-jitsu career, that is uh, everybody's dream. You always want to be like, yeah, man, I, I trained my house. You know, I've got mats, you know, because uh, the mats, the jiu-jitsu mats, the tatami, as they're known, it's like a luxury of sorts, you know. So that was pretty cool. That was very interesting. Ever since Edgar began operating the academy, he's done his best to make it a warm, open, and inviting environment for all that come through. Oh man, the academy. Uh, I have to say, it's really cool because there's like so many different like ways, like walks of life that we have in here. We, you know, I have myself. I'm the youth pastor. We have an engineer in here. We have a grad student in here. We have uh, an elementary school teacher. We have uh, an electrician. You know, and it's just so cool that we can all come together from these different avenues and and uh, share one common goal and one common love, which is jujitsu. Everybody that has come in uh, through these doors just because they heard it or they were walking by or driving by and they just walked in because they were curious, they stayed, you know? Uh, so that's kind of, uh, I think that that's, that's, that's very cool. And I think that speaks a lot for the environment that I create there, you know, here in the academy. Jiu-Jitsu has helped Edgar lead a happy and productive life. But that could have gone much differently if Jiu-Jitsu hadn't found him when it did. Pass that knee, pass that knee. Pass. Ever since I was 19 years old, with no purpose in life, lost, didn't know what I was going to do for the rest of my life, uh, especially for uh, an immigrant, you know, coming to a different country, um, going, you know, uh, graduated through the educational system and whatnot, um, got out of high school, I didn't know what I was going to do, um, so everybody that I was hanging out with signed up to go to college, so I signed up to go to college. Uh, I went to school for two years no idea what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life and then jiu-jitsu happened to come into my into my world uh, and for the first time since I can ever recall I knew exactly what I wanted to do and uh, now that Edgar has found his calling in jiu-jitsu he's doing the best he can to spread the martial art that he loves to others in the hopes that it helps them as well I miss about now. a year and a half yeah. I went from 255 to 180 and then uh, blood sugar, cholesterol, everything back in the optimal range. Which, you know, for being 40, I thought that was pretty good. It's done wonders for me. Got to keep doing it now. Bend your leg.